Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming here today. Uh, we're here to talk about criminal justice reform, and I think seeing this big crowd really illustrates how important an issue this is for all of New Yorkers. Our feeling here in the Republican Assembly Conference that, is that improvements to the state's criminal justice system was a procedure that required a scalpel, but unfortunately the governor and the legislative majorities decided to use a chainsaw. As a result, every day we're seeing stories about another alleged felon being released from prison. This isn't fear mongering. This isn't a rush to judgment. These are the facts. You know something's wrong when a five-time bank robber is arrested, released, and he himself says, I can't believe they let me out. What were they thinking? I can't believe they let me out. What were they thinking? Clearly something needs to change, and that's what we're here today to advocate for. Sadly, people are living these tragedies. I'm very happy that we're joined here today by Sheila Harris, who's a cousin of Maria Rosie Osai, and by Jennifer Payne, here to my left. She's a mother of Sarah Toombs. Both these women lost loved ones far too soon, and both have been forced to experience a system of justice that is tilted heavily to the accused while ignoring the victims. While we hear their stories I, in a few minutes, I just want to take a few seconds to personally thank them for coming. It takes a tremendous amount of courage uh, after such loss to come forward. So let's please give them a round of applause. Uh, we're also fortunate to be joined by professionals who are on the front lines trying to manage an unmanageable situation in the name of public safety. Please join me in welcoming Saratoga County DA, Karen Hagan. Karen. We have Rensselaer County DA, Mary Pat Donnelly. Mary Pat. Green County DA, Joseph Stanzion. Green County Sheriff, Peter Kuzminski. And Schoharie County Sheriff, Ronald Stevens. These members of law enforcement community have been sounding the alarm for months about the law that went too far, too fast, and without proper consideration for the real world impacts. The criminal justice reforms passed by the governor and the two legislative majorities have produced nothing but danger and dysfunction. They need to be repealed, and this needs to be done right away. Yeah. 